goes. So this is definitely going to be a February overview. Let me turn this back. This is going to be a February overview for what it is you might need to know for February. It's going to be applied to the sun, moon, and rising, okay? Um, of course, if you resonate with other parts of your chart like Venus, Mars, whatever, 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 um, watch for that sign. It's cool. If you're new here, hi. My name is B. If you're accustomed to being here, welcome back, okay? Um, if you don't know who I am and you are new here, then obviously I would assume you don't follow me on Twitter. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter, then you obviously don't know that we ran a poll yesterday for the top four signs. Um, it was you guys, Cancer, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. So if you have any of that in your chart, then make sure you check over on the rest of my channel to um, find the videos that fit for you. Um, if you don't see your February or review posted, then that probably means you should probably follow me on Twitter so you can vote for your sign i mean duh i don't pick these by myself i let twitter pick who gonna go first okay so do with that information as you will um the description box has everything that you need to know about how to book where to book other platforms that i could be on um and good little stuff like that okay um also before it slips my mind love and sex readings on the website are 20 percent off using the promo code valentine 23 that is valentine like valentine's day valentine 23 okay um you can get sex cards with your love readings you can get a love reading with your sex cards whatever whatever however you want to mix and match okay so let's go ahead and jump in um, because Sagittarius and Aquarius has been pretty interesting, um, but a little similar. So let's see what you guys are giving. What is the energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Venus for February? Okay. Um. And you know what's funny, Virgos? Um, global access came on by Wiz Khalifa right as I was starting this. I'll put this down here at the bottom. Um, let me just start with what I'm seeing. Okay, so we have Twin Flame. We have Energy Vampire. We have Master Plan. We have solar plexus, we have new you, and we have um, communication. So what I don't like off the bat, because what I'm picking up off the bat is some of you are twin flame situations and some of you are not, okay? Some of you, this twin flame card just indicates people that you have a lot in common with, um, because with actual twin flames, um, they have a lot in common, but they have a lot not in common equally as well, right? For those of you who are twin flames, I mean actual twin flames, again, if you need confirmation, if you're watching this and you like, I think I'm a twin, I really don't know, I'm not sure, um, use the promo code. You, I do have a twin flame reading. Um, you can book a typical love reading and put that in the notes tab where it's like, I want to know if this person is really my twin or not. Um, and we can do that. Okay. Promo code Valentine's 23. But for those of you that know that, you know, that, you know, like you don't got to guess, you know, like, like, bitch, I'll bet my money and my pussy juice, bitch, that it is right. Um, if this is your twin, I do feel like you need some solar plexus work. Something about this twin flame is giving me mirror. Um, y'all need to balance or you need to get balanced to help the connection be balanced. Okay. Um, when you find yourself getting pessimistic, they get really, really pessimistic too. Um, if you need also another thing, I know I have a twin flame mirror video on YouTube. So if you need to pause this, go watch that video. Okay. But there's something here about the way you think Virgo. Excuse me, the way you think and the way you kind of go about those thoughts is not helping you, okay? Um, we all know y'all can be very flaw type people. And when I say that, I mean y'all always looking for what's wrong in the situation and not looking toward what's right in the situation, okay? Which makes you actually take a hit to your confidence because it's like you become looking, it's like you start looking for what went wrong and not what's going right or what could be right. All right. 
um, that's not going to do nothing but fuck up the mirror. For others of you, this isn't exactly a twin flame situation, but this is like somebody you have a lot in common with, someone who balances you out, right? This could be like a friend, best friend, or a sister, sibling, or something like that. Um, they are an energy vampire. I feel like February, you'll be made to know that that's very, very prominent. If you kind of already been hanging out with some people and it's like, I don't know why I feel so bad, or for some of you, this could be your twin flame. If you know you kind of been feeling a little down and in the dumps lately, and you like, I really can't understand why, um, your twin could be the energy vampire. I'm not going to sit here and act like because they're your twin, they can't be it. Yes, they can. Divine masculine or divine feminine, they could be their, your own energy vampire. Do with that information as you want to. Um, yeah, but for some of you, this isn't exactly your twin as much as it is somebody you could like consider a twin. Like, you know how friends, yeah, I just saw 555. But you know how some friends be like, oh, my best friend is my twin flame right um where it's just like no they're not actually um <laughs> y'all just two motherfuckers they got a lot in common but see they drain you um energy vampires are people who rely on you to give the energy that they can't give right um so again let's say virgo let's say that you are very confident in yourself um, and you know that you top of the line, okay, listen, you give it, it's giving Beyonce a Virgo, so I'm very much giving Beyonce a family, right? This is somebody who can't generate that energy for themselves. So they come around you because you generate that feel-good energy, they can't generate it for themselves, but then they leave you drained, right? You know those people who, I'm trying to give a good example, you know those friends that like, you know that they know that they not that confident, but then instead of just like taking the compliment they always give pushback like that's very much a, a big like example of an energy vampire to me right or people who fish for those uh compliments you know what i mean oh my god i'm just uh, i'm so fat in this dress when it's like they really don't think that they look fat virgo they just really want you to blow some smoke up they ass huh oh no you're just you're such you're fabulous you're a great person you're just so amazing they just that's all they wanted from you anyway they didn't really think they look fat in that dress they just wanted to drain you of that confident energy that you have does that make sense this could also happen when with your partner you know what I mean? If it is a twin flame, oh, you're just so good to me. I don't deserve you. I'm not worthy of you. I'll never be good enough to be. Why do you love me? You know what I'm saying? All that old bullshit. Then it's like, oh, well, no, babe, because you know, because babe just really love you. Now, once or twice, okay, it might just be a simple insecurity, right? But when you find yourself constantly doing that, and they constantly draining your positive energy. You go over to your best friend's house and you feel real good. It's a great day. It's payday. You just got your hair done, hair cut, wig laid, bitch. And you get over here looking the way that you looking, feeling as good as you looking. And they be, they be sitting here with the long face and shit. What was wrong with you, bitch? What's, what's going on? I hope nothing. Right? child it's draining right now you got to be draining your energy because you don't want to be a bad friend but see they're draining you be very 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 cautious of february of people who do that okay learn how to really start shifting your focus i feel like in february yeah you gonna have a lot of epiphanies and self-realizations where it's just like hold the fuck up you know what i'm saying uh maria only called me when she feel bad you know what i'm saying i don't never i don't never hear from maria ever you know what I'm saying? It's funny how I kind of have given a, a little bit of a story with all of these videos. Because I know I've had one for Sagittarius and Aquarius. But I, same thing here. I definitely, y'all know I like to make these a little interpersonal. So it's like, to give you what I mean, I've definitely had a friend like this, right? Where it's like, the bitch don't ever pop up at my house unless I need her to like come by. You know what I mean? The bitch would never pop up at my house for nothing else in the world. But then she popped up at my house one night because she had just get into it with her family. And she, I guess, felt guilty. So now you want me to put the battery in your back. Like, oh, no, nah, because you should have cussed her out. You was in the right. Right? And in the moment, it's like, I just wanted to be a good friend. But it's like, well, girl, you pull up on me. Like, oh, my God, I need you to come outside right now because I just need you. Right? Which is codependency. But then... 
you so low in energy to where I got to now fuel you back up. But then when I need you to fuel me up, you really don't be having nothing to say. You know what I mean? You know them friends? They always come to you with a problem. Oh, I don't know what to do about this and that and that and this. And oh, because this is wrong and that is wrong and that is wrong and this is wrong. And you give them all type of good ass advice, Virgo, the way that y'all do. And then you need some advice and it's like, well, I don't really know what to do about my job because, and they be like, oh, I'm sorry to hit it. It's like, bitch, what you mean? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Sorry to hit it. Like, you know, so these people watch out for selfish people. Okay. Watch out for people who always trying to drain you. Even in the card, it says drain your positive energy with their low vibes relies on your energy without reciprocity. Doubts your ability, but wants to reap the rewards. You know what I mean? Low energy, pessimistic people, selfish people. These are all people who just want to take from you, but they don't want to replenish. You know what I'm saying? They want you to come tell them that, that, that they look good. Oh no, girl, you because you look beautiful in that dress. You look beautiful. You look so breathtakingly stunning. You look immaculate. You look fabulous. You look glamorous. And then when it's you, it's just like. Mm -hmm. I like your hair. You know what I'm saying? That's really all they give. I like your hair. I like your outfit. But they don't really pour that back into you. Right? They always call me you with a problem and shit. Want you to uh fix something. Oh, because Virgo, I just, oh, Virgo, help me, Virgo. Oh, Virgo, please, God, please help me, Virgo. But then when Virgo need help, where are they? This could be your twin. This could be an actual uh, family member. This could be a friend. Somebody you just got a lot in common with. Somebody that you felt fated to, right? Yin and Yang is here twice. There's Yin and Yang in this card. And then here's the Yin and Yang card at the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody who almost makes you feel complete. Virgo. They make you feel complete. They make you feel whole about yourself. But are you really whole and i think in february you're going to start learning that you need to shift your focus and shift the way you're thinking because the way that you're showing up for people they're not showing up the same way for you they might make you feel whole or either you make them feel whole for let to, to to be complete you make them feel whole but do they make you feel whole You're very confident by yourself, Virgo. You don't, you come up with a lot of plans. You have a real good game plan, game strategy. Who around you in February is not giving you that energy back that you've been giving? Who around you is always meeting your positive vibes with negative vibes? You know what I mean? You can always be, you can be, you can be pretty down I, I i don't know too many virgos to be energy vampires i'm not saying that there's none out there but i don't but then again i don't know that many virgos but the virgos i do know i said one out of like six of them is an energy vampire the rest of y'all know how to generate a lot of energy for yourselves right a lot of you know how to be confident and expressive and strong in your own self it'd be other people around you virgo that be like i need virgo help but who's showing up for virgo when virgo need help right when you get down who's who's now pouring you pouring into you with positive energy when you get down right if you got a whole lot of motherfuckers around you who really ain't pouring into you for real for real you might want to change who around you right especially if you got some selfish people pessimistic people you always coming around and it's always some negative shit oh because my life will never be things will never work out the way child that shit gets so draining I'll never be as pretty as Virgo. And you like, oh, well, no, nah, because, girl, because, bitch, you bitch, you beautiful, bitch. What is you talking about? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not my, I got all these stretch marks, and my nose is all big, and I have acne. Right? And here you are, Virgo. No, nah, but, bitch, but, bitch, that don't mean nothing, bitch. You, bitch, you look good. Right? You trying to instill some confidence in them. You trying to goddamn help them with a game plan. No, because this, see, this is what you need to do with your business. And then if you go over here and you do, do it like this, do it like this and then do it like that. And then when you work it, twerk it like that. And then you come over here, right? But then are they giving you that back? Okay. Are they making you feel balanced? 
Virgo? Are they making you feel whole? A lot of you, again, this is not, it's not really destined for you to be with this person. Even if it is a divine connection, there's a lot of twin flames that's not with a person because they person don't want to get it together. So even if this is your twin flame, if you know that you keep trying to meet your divine masculine, divine feminine with good energy and you excited and confident, you know what I'm saying, about yourself and then you come home to your masculine and your masculine like, why you wear that dress? What the fuck you mean why I wear that dress? What are you talking Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> I feel good about this dress. You know what I'm saying? You go to your divine feminine and it's like, why you let your barber cut your hair like that? But shit, when you looked in the motherfucking mirror before you left, you thought you you thought you was fresh. <laughs> then you're, you're, then your own, it be your own twin flame. Like, no. So now it's like, well, damn, maybe, maybe I don't need to wear this dress. Maybe I shouldn't have got my hair cut the way I got my hair cut. I mean, shit, I, I thought it looked nice. Make sure you be very careful with that, okay? Because in February, I feel like you're going to see a lot of people who've been around that don't need to be around. You're going to see a lot of people who've just been taking from you, Virgo, as opposed to actually balancing you out. I think you got a lot of people around you that you think balance you out, Virgo, when actually... It's not giving balanced. What I do see though is that you're gonna become a lot more confident in who you are in February. I see that very well. You're gonna be a lot more confident in your self expression. You're gonna be a lot more confident in your self improvements. And you're gonna shift your focus to those who's around you that really pour into you the way that you pour into them. Even if it is your twin flame, even if it is a soulmate. Even if it is a homegirl that you think is a twin flame, you could be watching this right now and you could be like, it could, it's, it's not my best friend. Whoever you got in your mind right now is them. I promise. Whoever you got in your mind that you think is not, it is. I feel like in February, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to really realize that it's been them. And a lot of the time you don't be want to think so. It can never be my, my, my homeboy. That's my best friend. That's been my best friend since second grade. But the bitch been draining you energetically all this time and you think it's just you. You think you're just depressed. You think you're just insecure about your body, insecure about your face, insecure about your hair. No, it's them. But that energy is rubbing off on you. Why? Because every time they call you, they got some shit. Oh, do you like my hair? I think my hair is Virgo. Cause like, and you're like, no, nah, your hair is pretty. Do you like this dress on me, Virgo? Because I just, I don't really know. No, it's pretty right then before you know it you start checking yourself or do i i don't really know if i like these shoes on me virgo don't you start that shit don't you start it don't you start it don't start it don't don't start worrying about your flaws don't start the highlighting all of that shit because you got a lot of people who now are taking that energy and it's draining you and it's depleting you and it's fucking with your confidence in february so if you are already here in February, it's looking like a lot of people about to get cut off. It's looking like you're going to make a phone call to some people to say, you know what, Um, I know we were supposed to be kicking it on spring break or whatever, but um, I can't fuck with y'all no more. <laughs> I know we were supposed to get, get together and have fun uh, for the summer, but I don't fuck with y'all no more. I can't fuck with y'all no more, right? And if you're not here, the epiphany will start in February. You're going to start to really see, hold on, this person only called me when they need some. I thought that they really was fucking with me and they was really my friend, but Maria only called me when she needs home. My twin flame, I thought that maybe he really was fucking with me, but you know what? I think he only called me when he wants some pussy. Right? He only he only called me when he needs some business ideas. He only called me when he needs some. Give me an oracle card for Virgos in February. In February. Yeah, spirituality. Miss Erica Badu. Bag lady, you gonna hurt your back carrying all them bags like that. Don't be carrying people for extra baggage, Virgo. That's what just made me feel like. You out here, you might be out here carrying people for some extra baggage. Don't do that. Don't do that because they're not gonna carry you as extra baggage. They not. Fuck the noise. They not. Okay? So, um, don't do, definitely don't do that. I feel like at the bottom of the deck is a defiance card. With yo-yo you can't play with my yo-yo um so it's very much 
I don't know why they just can't. I hate being clear audience sometimes. I hear some of the weirdest fucking songs. Um, don't try to play me out. Don't try to play me out. If you know the song, then you know the song. If you are very familiar with Yo-Yo, then you just know what's going on. Um, my mother was a big Yo-Yo fan, so don't ask me how I know this song. I just know it, okay? Um, but even that song is very much giving, even with Yo-Yo, right, for that song specifically. It was basically a song of her saying, you know what I'm saying, kind of putting some respect on her name. Don't play with me. I'm not like the rest of these bitches. I'm not no hoe. You can't play with me. And don't play with me. Okay? So it's very much giving. You might be kind of breaking some rules a little bit. You might be kind of ready to, you know what I'm saying, put it put it to a motherfucker where it's like, listen, I have been a little nice and a little courteous for too long. Okay? I have been a little too giving for too long. I have been answering the phone trying to help you and you don't ever have no help for me for too long okay and i'm very familiar with this energy so if the quicker you get them out of your way virgo the better you will start to feel okay because i can't tell you how great i started to feel after i cut a couple of bitches off that was only trying to pull on me because i generated energy they can't generate but when you generate boss bitch energy when you generate bad bitch energy when you generate that nigga that bitch it girl top tier the one not the two a lot of people want that energy virgo y'all are extremely hard workers extremely hard shit i'll be the first to say if i could try any of my placements in it'll probably be for a virgo placement because even though y'all are very hard on y'all selves i love the work ethic i love it i love it y'all gonna get some work done it don't matter how long how strenuous you're gonna get it done and it's gonna be done right a lot of people want that, but a lot of people don't have that energy in themselves. So a lot of people want to sit around you and, and eat cheese with you to try to get some of that shit to what? Rub off. It's an energy exchange. Don't let them start siphoning your energy. Because you feeling real good about yourself. So now you got a lot of bitches and niggas that don't feel good about themselves that just want to let it rub off. It's like a tweet or something I saw about a celebrity. I can't remember which celebrity. I'm just going to use Beyonce because... We know that that's y'all Virgo queen as Virgos, <laughs> right? So it's giving like, you know what I'm saying? Imagine trying to be as powerful as Beyonce. You know how many people in the world want to be as powerful as Beyonce? Want to be as big as Beyonce? Want to be as beautiful as Beyonce? But it's like, I can't energe generate that energy for myself. Beyonce, just shake my hand. Just shake my hand and I pray some of the blood. <laughs> I pray some of the blessings just rub off. Just can I just can you just touch my shoulder? Right? And hopefully some of the money and some of the prosperity and some of the power are way off. It's kind of that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Use your discernment in February. Use your discernment in February and get more um get more serious about what it is you gotta go on. Cause I don't exactly feel like this is defiance unless it's like family. Unless your mom or brother, uncle, cousin is the one that's draining you. And you're like, okay, now you have to be defiant. Right? Because I don't care if you my mom or my family or not. What you're not about to do is drain me. Okay? But I feel like in February, make sure people know not to motherfuck play with you. Okay? Because for as long as you keep acting like a Nintendo 64, PS4, PS5, Wii, they're going to keep playing with your motherfucking ass. Okay? As long as you keep acting like a yo-yo, they're going to keep trying to string you back up and back down and back up when they want you again and then back down and then back up again. <laughs> be very careful. Discernment is going to be what works. Spirituality is going to be what works for you. Okay? Thank you again so much for checking out my channel. I deeply appreciate you guys. Um... Again, if you want to know if you're a twin, if maybe you're dealing with somebody and you like, you know, because i kind of been thinking that maybe we twins. Um, again, definitely use the promo code VALENTINE23. Check down below the description box and actually click to the website. Book a reading. Listen, I, I, my turnaround time is in 24 to 72 hours. So you'll get in between one or three days. Okay. Or you can do an emergency reading and I do it the same day within a couple of hours. Okay. However works for you, whatever works for you. Definitely make sure that you um, tap in with me again. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like. Leave me some comments down below. Who been playing with you? Who been, who been, who's the energy vampire? Do you know who the energy vampire is? Um, is it family? Is it friends? Do you, maybe you have a friend. You're like, I used to have a friend that would only call me when she needed stuff. That's why I say, because the bitch would never pop up outside my house. It was, it, it, the only time she came to our house is because we planned it. So for her to pop up outside my house and you all emo emotional and hysterical, 
but then you ain't never pulled up outside my house again just already let me know what type of time it is so maybe you're dealing with that too um overall though just make sure people don't be playing with you this month okay y'all too y'all too beautiful too cool too too tight and got too much shit going on for all of that okay so until next time my beautiful people bye